I was already kind of taking a little break from YouTube. But man, I was not expecting to come back to this, man. Like, this was generally... This is generally a time where devils were crying, man. Us devils was definitely crying. <laughs> we were definitely living up to our names. Devil may cry. Yeah, we were fucking crying after hearing this news, man. Because I was not expecting this at all. <laughs> I woke up and I just saw on the headlines... The DMC community going crazy. And I'm like, what happened? Was a new game announced? No. The worst possible news hit is that Itsuno Sun, the game director for the Devil May Cry games, in particular 3, 4, and 5, has left Capcom. Uh, and he writes on a post uh, that after 30 plus years in the game uh, working at Capcom he is no longer going to be working there he's leaving uh, and he's going to be working on a new title at a new studio we don't know what the studio is but he's looking forward to it and he also hoped that you guys will continue supporting and playing more Capcom games in the future and he's you know, really looking forward to making his next creation. And <laughs> I gotta say, as a Devil May Cry fan, <laughs> uh, I could only have this reaction, which I posted on his fucking shit. <laughs> This was literally my reaction as soon as I heard the news. I jumped out of my bed <laughs> when I heard that and was like, no. I was so depressed when I heard that news. I was sad. I was so livid. I was like, you could have swore you just heard like the man is dead. <laughs> That's how bad I took it. Because <laughs> I was like, this can't be happening. <laughs> and I was very sad. I was very upset about this whole announcement. But, you know, as I kind of like internalized it and thought about it a little bit more, and had more time to process the whole thing. I ultimately understand why he had to leave. You know, uh, Itsuno Sun has been doing this shit for 30 years. All right. He's giving Capcom some bangers. Like, I had to look up this man's resume. And you can see it right here. I was blown away by how many games he's done that are to me some hits that everybody always asks about everybody always asks about these games and when we could see a continuation of these games and he's done it and some of these i didn't even know like i knew he did i knew he did rival schools he was the rival school dude so i knew that and i kind of knew he did jojo or had help working on jojo but i had no idea he made power stuff Oh my goodness. And if you have never played Power Stone 1 or 2, those games are fun as fuck. So to know that he did that, I was like, what? I was like, when I was reading this, I was like, wait a minute, what? That's impossible. I was I was blown away. And then, you know, he, he's done something that even shocked me, which I didn't even know this. He did fucking, he did Capcom versus SNK2. One of the biggest fighting games, period, from Capcom. Like, unbelievable. Like, this man has a resume that would put you to fucking sleep, would knock out anybody. Like, this man is the GOAT. He is truly a legendary devil hunter. Like, no, no shits. It's no, is that GOAT. So, this man has started from 1994 uh, all the way till now. 
I mean, you can't ask no more from the dude. He giving you everything. <laughs> you can't ask any more from this dude. So it makes perfect sense that he's kind of like, you know, I give you 30 years of me, Capcom. I got nothing more. I'm out. And, you know, I can understand that, you know, I can get it. Especially if you're a creator, you know, you kind of want to constantly do new things and not be stagnant. Some creators are just fine. Keep doing the same shit over and over again and feel fine. But then there's some that's like, oh, well, I want to try new things. And I and I could assume that Capcom was really not allowing him to do what he wanted to do. Uh, even though, you know, he did, he was able to do Dragon's Dogma 2 and Devil May Cry 5. Maybe it wasn't enough. And maybe he just wanted to do new things. So I think we generally have to respect why he wanted to leave i think regardless of how you feel and whether you want another devil may cry or another dragon's dogma you gotta respect it's no son for crafting amazing games over the years you know and wanting to move on that's one two you know if you actually know the history of it's no son with the devil may cry series in particular you know i think it makes sense i think capcom handling of him was always kind of like you know, kind of bullshit, you know, if we're going to be real, if we're going to be real technical, you know, look back at, you know, the first game he did with the DMC, which was technically speaking, Devil May Cry 2, you know, he came in at the last minute of that game development and shit was going horribly wrong and tried to fix that game as best as possible, but he only had literally six, maybe even four months to fix that game. That wasn't enough time. And he felt, and the team felt so embarrassed by that game that he was like, nah, this is not going, this is not going to tarnish my name. Fuck that. We're going to make a banging ass game. And what did he do? He gives us one of my favorite video games of all time, Devil May Cry 3. And it's the fucking, litest fucking game. All right. Litest fucking game. Then he's like, okay, I could get to do another game. Another Devil May Cry game. All right. I'm working on Devil May Cry Four, I have all these great ideas. Let's get to work. Okay. Originally, my dude had five years to work on it. They cut that shit down to two years. So half of the shit that he wanted to put in, in the game didn't even make it on the chopping block. This is why that game feels so, like, kind of incomplete, I should say. And even though it felt incomplete, that game felt... It, it's such a great game. Despite it feeling a little incomplete, that game is such a good game. And then they fucked him over again. What did they do? Okay, well, now we're taking the Devil May Cry license from you. And we're giving it to these Western developers that don't give two fine fucks about the, the series. Um, And yeah, you, now you have to oversee them. And it's like, what? Only for the fans not to like it. And he has to now go back and fix the shit by giving us devil may cry 5 so you see it's son has always been like the fix it guy in capcom and i can understand 30 years of dealing with that shit would be fucking irritating yeah they threw him a bone here and there and be like hey you'll get to do devil may cry 5 or hey you get to do dmc um um dragon's dogma one and two but I can understand if he got annoyed by that. So, I, I completely get it. Now, talking to It's No Son himself. And I wrote a post on on it when I first, 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 first heard the news. Uh, when he did the Japanese um, text version. And I, and I said it here. I was like, you know, thank you, It's No Son, for all you've done for not only the, D the DMC community... But for Capcom as a whole, you have blessed us with many great games over the years. And I wish you best luck in your future endeavors. You will always be a devil, uh, be a legendary devil hunter in my eyes. Like, and I meant every word of it, you know. It's an Sun, for me, is truly a GOAT. He has given me one of my favorite video games of all time, Devil May Cry 3. And that game made me appreciate 
really how video games are made really how characters are made in particular he took Dante, which was already a kind of like a gooky, quirky character and made him even more kooky, but made him even more have a heart. And it made me really appreciate how much I don't give a fuck about story or the overarching stories. I care about characters and what characters are going through. So if it wasn't for him, I would never have the appreciation for characters in storytelling. And what does that mean? And seeing character development in storytelling. I would also never understand why gameplay matters so much for a video game. And how mechanics work. And the idea of freedom of expression. I always talk about the idea of freedom of expression. In, in particular, in, in, in hack and slash and in fighting games. I think two of those are the prime example of freedom of expression because you just make up your own shit and feel cool and it's no son made that happen and made me realize why i love character action games and also fighting games in general so i owe nothing nothing but respect and love for it's no son i thank him for what he's done for me he's given me one of my favorite games of all time and i cannot thank him anymore so thank you it's no son for all your hard work you can put down the devil, you can put down your devil arm and walk off into the sunset. You gave us truly some banging ass hit and you did something incredible for the DMC community. You sat there and said, Devil May Cry 5 will not only meet, uh, will meet expectations, you said it will exceed expectations and it fucking did. Every single minute of that game met my expectations blew my expectations it made me not a cynical about video games it truly remind me why Capcom is fucking awesome and why Devil May Cry is awesome but more importantly why I fell in love with Capcom so again thank you Ooh. and with the tears out of my eyes cause I really got to thank the man because it was a dark age for us Devil May Cry fans and Devil May Cry, Devil May Cry 5 really, really, really was an amazing game. So he can walk off into the sunset knowing that he did good by us. Uh, and also he did good by the, by the Dragon's Dogma community, even though I heard some questionable things about that game. Uh, the sequel <laughs> so he did good but now let me talk to my devil hunters and I gotta be honest with you devil hunters I'm very disappointed in devil hunters all right I gotta I gotta be honest with the devil may cry community I'm very disappointed I'm very disappointed in 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 the DMC community because my god my god like as soon as this announcement came, you would have swore that Devil May Cry was gone, that there will be no Devil May Cry games ever again, and like the whole world has been destroyed. And I'm just like, what? What what's going on here? Like, I get it. I get it. You know, hearing this news is kind of sad, and considering how Capcom handles Devil May Cry is it's disconcerting that, you know, we lost It's an Osun and, you know, a lot of the heads of the Devil May Cry series is gone. Like, the combat director for Devil May Cry 5 is no longer there. He did uh, Final Fantasy 16 uh, combat, you know. So, you know, it is disheartening. But to sit there and act like the series is dead because It's an Osun is gone is complete horseshit and y'all need to stop stop it my devil hunters y'all got to stop like i need y'all to have that motherfucking fire where was where's the fire you guys had when we saw dmc devil may cry and we all fucking hated that shit and we were not tolerating that shit and we all made our voices heard that we weren't going to tolerate that bullshit where's that same energy for this fucking 
shit. Where's that? Where's that DMC community? Where's that? I'm very disappointed in y'all. Y'all don't have that fire in y'all. Y'all acting like this is the end of Devil May Cry. When y'all act like there's no, the whole team is gone. The whole team of Devil May Cry is still there at Capcom. They're still there. They're still chilling. It only takes one person to, to quote Devil May Cry 1, wake up to justice and say, I have a vision for Devil May Cry. Let's fucking do it. Let I take up range. I put my, my livelihood on the line for the DMC community. It only takes one motherfucker. And you mean to tell me there's no one in Japan? Nobody in Japan is going to be willing to take up that arms. They say, I got a cool idea. And let's do it. None of the, none, none of the new heads of game development, none of them have that passion to do it. Y'all are out of y'all mind. Look at what's going on with fucking Street Fighter. When Ono Sun was fucking doing the uh, with fucking Street Fighter. And people wanted Ono Sun out and then he left. You know, what happened? The new kids came on the block. And we were all skeptical on if the new kids would do it. Street Fighter 6 come out and it's a fucking banger. Everyone's praising Street Fighter 6. Personally for me, I haven't had so much fun with a Street Fighter game since Street Fighter fucking 4. All right, I love it so much. The only reason I'm not playing it is because Tekken 8 is out, and I love Tekken more than Street Fighter. But don't get it twisted. That game is fucking awesome, and we never thought we would have got Street Fighter back to its glory days. And now look at the fighting game div um, division. We literally are getting a Marvel vs. Capcom collection. We are literally getting fucking It's and Sun's fucking great, fucking greatest hit games coming out next year. All right, <laughs> like, like you literally have these cats talking about. We would love to do a Marvel versus Capcom four. We would love to do Capcom versus SNK three, and they are painting the seeds for that. They're fucking painting the seeds of that, and these are young cats doing this shit. Just recently, Dead Rising fucking fans are recently getting resurgence because Dead Rising one remake is coming out and there's new cats that's hungry for that shit they are ready to make a new new dead rising so i don't want to hear none of this bullshit crying and sadness and shit it's okay to feel a little sad it's okay to feel hurt but we gotta chuck it the fuck through all right you know like like we shall never surrender remember Devil May Cry 4 song, Never Surrender. Like, I need y'all to have that fucking energy right now, all right? Don't act like we ain't never been through some shit. We've always gone through some shit with Devil May Cry, and it's never gonna change. But we always have kept Devil May Cry alive, and we will continue to keep that shit alive. We are getting a fucking anime. Now, granted, you might say, oh, it's taking too long. Let them fucking cook, all right? Let them cook. Let them cook. You want the anime to come out and it's fucking terrible? And then we all got our shit on it. <laughs> like, let them cook. That anime is probably coming out next fucking... Either later this year or next year. Let them cook. Let them fucking cook. Alright? We we literally had a, 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 a poll earlier this year. Talking about, oh, what games would you like to see from the Chatcon uh, development team? unanimously everyone was like devil may cry 6 devil may cry is the top head of games they would want to see favorite character dante come on dmc fans come on y'all are y'all y'all getting me upset i expect this from I don't know. I expect this from the fucking Mega Man community, not no Devil May Cry community. Like, like come on. Nigga. I need y'all to get y'all fucking asses up and keep fighting, bro. Like, what the fuck is this? Because it's no gone, you gonna just stop? No. What the fuck? I ain't never seen no bullshit like this, alright? 
Y'all acting like it's the end of the world. We literally got a fucking mobile game, all right? Granted, that mobile game ain't that great. <laughs> uh, funny enough, the beta for it was way better. But, you know, there's... Devil May Cry's not dead. It's still going strong. We are keeping it strong. And as long as we make our voices heard that we want more Devil May Cry, they see that we want more Devil May Cry. It, it's, it's the fucking top 10 bestseller. <laughs> so, again, miss me with this bullshit. <laughs> Alright? Miss me with this bullshit. I need y'all to stop this shit. I need to stop the whining, stop the complaining, stop the goom and doom, and get to fucking work. Get to the modding scene, mod some new shit. I need y'all to start praising and, and start being like, hey, Capcom, Devil May Cry 6 or Devil May Cry Remake. Which brings me to my next point. Now that It's in No Sun is gone, what should they do? Me personally, there's only two options. We either do Devil May Cry 6, and I said it before um, on my Twitter. I said we should do Devil May Cry 6 or Devil May Cry 1 reboot uh or not, not devil may cry reboot devil may cry one remake on the same level as the resident evil remakes and i got a lot of pushback i got a few pushbacks on why would we go backwards instead of going forward and i'm like it would make sense because whoever takes on the next devil may cry game has to know their shit and if they're not comfortable, I would say the best way for them to get comfortable is to remake one of the fucking Devil May Cry, Cry games. In particular, one, because one has some dated shit. One has some dated gameplay. Platforming is very dated. Uh, the fixed camera angles. While that, while that is cool and there's going to be people like Under the Mayo and all of them that like that shit, modern audience don't give a fuck about that. So, you know... Fixing some core issues, fixing the shitty voice acting, even though I love the voice acting, it, it's got a lot of charm. It's actually what makes me fall in love with Devil May Cry, but it's so cheesy that I don't think modern audience would like. So, yeah, that would be my course of action. Do DMC one remake i think that would be their smartest choice that's the safest choice and then we could do devil may cry 6 or if you really want to go devil may cry 6 have nero be the mentor to the new protagonist and it still be a story about nero it can still be a story dual protagonist you know <laughs> like like make it work and it, and it can work you know but only time will tell And that's all I got to say. So to wrap up this video, again, thank you, Itsuno Sun, for all your hard work and dedication to not only the DMC community, but to Capcom as a whole. Thank you for paving the way for great character action games. And I wish you nothing but the best on what's to come. And DMC fans, it ain't the end, but it is the end of an era. Whoever takes up the next Devil May Cry game will be vastly different from what we are used to, and we need to embrace that and accept that. Stop crying. This isn't the end. This is only the beginning. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed the channel or the video. If you are new to channel please comment rate subscribe let me know what's your favorite devil may cry game and what's your favorite moment from a devil may cry game or any work from it's no sun it don't have to be just devil may cry it could be any work comment below let me know and as always stay tuned more videos are on the way it's your boy mrs generate signing out have a good one